I know where we can go with such a lot to see. It's the farm food, the farm food factory. Catch a bus or come with us for breakfast, lunch or tea. You know, I'm so pleased that you could come and join us here at the Fun Food Factory because we are going to have the most terrific time. We really are. We're going to have lots of fun and we're going to make something that is mm, absolutely delicious. Now, I have two friends here with me today because they've been going around my factory, looking around, seeing what's going on. And that's uh, David here Hello. and Diane. Hello. Have you both had a nice time? Yes, thank you yes. very much. Yes. And did you yeah. did you notice anything about the factory? Anything that's a bit different, perhaps? Yeah, you don't use no uh, preservatives or colour in the food. You're absolutely right. We don't use yeah. preservatives. We don't use tins. We don't use anything like that. Any colouring. Nothing that's false and phony. Mm. We only make really pure, healthy, good for you foods. Yes. Yeah. And I tell you what we're going to make here today. Yeah. What we, make? we are going to make the most mouth-watering whole wheat bread. Mm. bread. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Have you ever made bread before? No. I promise you it's a lot of fun. And do you know, there are a lot of grown-ups, a lot of adults who can't make bread. They say, mm. oh, can't possibly make bread, mm. it's too difficult and oh, absolutely awful and mine turned out mm. to be like a stone. <laughs> well, you are going to prove them wrong. Absolutely promise you. Right. Now, the very first thing we have to do, we have to think about the factory rules. All factories have rules, don't they? Mm, yeah. Yeah. And we're no exception. Well, the first rule, of course, is absolutely obvious. You have to have permission to use the kitchen facilities from the foreman or whoever owns the factory. Well, that, uh, that happens to be me, so <laughs> <coughs> you two are yeah. all right. I give you permission. Of course, those of you at home, you'd better ask permission from your factory foreman. That's usually, uh, usually known as a mother, perhaps, or your grandmother, father, whoever it is. Any, ask permission first because, you know, they don't like it if you make a mess and you, you haven't asked first. So that's the first rule. Now, the second rule is very important. You know, everything that you do in the kitchen, there are so many things that are dangerous. I mean, for instance, heat is dangerous. You yeah. know, steam is dangerous. Mm. Fat chopping, can spit it. Knives, chopping, yeah. knives, you're absolutely right. You have to really think hard all the time. Now, we're very lucky here because mm. we happen to have a danger signal. Now, every time we do anything dangerous, that signal goes off to warn us. For instance, um, David, could you pass me that knife, please? Yeah, sure. Oh, there you are. You see that? Now, we couldn't possibly ignore that. No, no, no. no way. But, of loud? course, it is loud, isn't it? But those mm. of you at home, of course, you haven't got that, so you really have to think for yourself. <gasps> Knives, you must think. Don't want any chopped up fingers. Chopped up fingers no. don't taste good, do No, you? not really. Now, the third <laughs> rule, of course, everybody thinks it's a bit dreary, but it is important. Clean hands. You have to wash your hands. Oh, absolutely lovely. The most beautiful clean hands I've ever seen. David, let's have a look. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> I don't think we could call those exactly clean, do you? Diane, what do you no, think? No, they're very dirty. Aren't very they? dirty, David. Black mark. You go and wash those hands. My goodness. <laughs> we don't want to make dirty bread, do yeah. we? Now, darling, I'll tell you what I'd like you to do. I'd like you to go over there and I'd like you to wind that handle and see if the storeroom have got ready our ingredients for us. That's good. I ordered them yesterday, so they should all be ready. There they come. Absolutely terrific. Very good. Now, it looks to me as though they've got them all right. David, would you like to go and check them off? Yeah. While, Diane, you come here with me and we shall read them and see if everything is all right. It's always better to get all the ingredients, you know, before you start cooking. And yeah. You don't have to keep running around and getting things and forgetting what you've got. Yeah, I often can... do that, actually. Yeah. Now, we want three pounds of whole wheat flour. Yes. Two level tablespoons of brown sugar. Yeah, we've got that. Two level tablespoons of salt. Yep. Half an ounce of dried yeast. Yes. Good. One pint of tepid water. Tepid? Yeah. What's that? Tepid? Well, uh, now let me think. How can I explain? It's neither hot nor cold nor warm. Nor, well, it, I tell you what, it's just sort of 
Well, it's just a little, um, let me think, how can I explain it? Put your finger in it and just see. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're kidding. Now, it feels just about the same temperature yeah. as your finger, doesn't yeah, it? Just, just the same. Just the same? Yeah. Well, that's tepid. Okay, mm. so we've got one pint of tepid water, half a pint of tepid water, yep. one teaspoonful of brown sugar, and yeah. brown sugar. Mm. Well, you know, I always use brown sugar because I'm not mad about white sugar. It's refined, and I think that anything that's refined, it's had a certain amount of mm. goodness taken out mm. of it. So I personally prefer brown sugar. I think it's better for you. And uh, two ounces of butter, or yep. of course it could be margarine. Yep. Right. right, now we're going to begin. Isn't this exciting? <laughs> yes. Now you could go and get me a bowl, a smallish bowl over there. And David, you could bring over here for me yep. half a pint of water. Uh, the half this, a pint, yeah. that's it, the good darling. And one teaspoonful of sugar. Um, teaspoonful of sugar. That's it. That's no, that's not the one. Cheese. The teaspoonful of sugar is there. Yeah, that's the one. All right. And half an ounce of yeast. That was the one you picked up there. Yeah, that's All the right. one. All right. Terrific. Now then, what we're going to do, we're going to make our yeast mixture. <laughs> because you have to have yeast to, to make bread rise. I'm mm. sure you yeah. need that. <laughs> All right, now pour the water into there. Our tepid water, pour it in. Jolly good. Take the sugar. Sugar. That's it. This. That's it, and tip that in. Now, <laughs> you do all the work, you know, because you're going to be the cooks today. Swizzle it around so that it dissolves. Looks like gravy. <laughs> Does a bit, doesn't it? Mm. Now we're going to take the yeast. yeast. I don't know whether either of you have seen yeast before, but it's, well, it's not the most thrilling thing to look at. Look. Like that yeah. <laughs> does, yes, or yeah. sort of large grains of sand. I mean, it's, <laughs> let's face it, it's not very thrilling. Mm, but I'm here yeah. to tell mm. you, when it's mixed with that warm water and sugar, it really does something rather magical. It starts to bubble and froth and rush around and do all sorts of things. That's why it's called active yeast. What, why is the water warm and not, you know, normal temperature? Well, you see, it has to be, it, for the yeast, it has to be warm to make it, it becomes activated, that's mm. the correct term for it, and cold water would just do nothing at all. All bread is yeah. better made with warm water. Anything that's warm helps it to rise and helps it to cook mm. properly. Yeah. Right, in you go, yeast. Tip him in. You. Yeah. All right. Just stir it. You think it's gungy, yeah. do you? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, there it is, the gungy yeast. Mm -hmm. Stir it around. Now, I tell you what we have to do now. We have to find a warm place to put that yeast because it takes about 15 minutes for it to rise and start to get all frothy and, and bubbly. Yeah. Now here in the factory, of course, I'm very lucky because we have very good facilities and I have a warming cupboard over there which is just the right temperature. Mm. But now what would you do at home if you had to find a warm place to put your yeast? Um, in a warm oven. You could, but a warm oven might not be too good, you see, because it might be a bit too hot. I, I, it would be better mm. if you had a, an oven that was just warm and you left the door open and put the yeast mixture next yeah. to it. Where would you put it? Under the bed or in a cupboard. Yes, un oh. under the bed. That's very interesting. I <laughs> hope you wouldn't go to get your slippers or something and no, find that you brought... Mm. You know, quite a good place at home where I do it when I'm cooking at home, I put it in the linen cupboard. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Mm. Mm. But don't, whatever you do, Another spill it. <gasps> Disaster, <laughs> otherwise <laughs> your bread-making days would be over. Your oh, mother yeah. would say, that's Pajamas it. Pajamas be Pajamas, vests, everything. No, yeah. that wouldn't be nice. Well, there it is. Now then, Diane, do you think you could take that and put it in the warming cupboard for us? Yes. Over there, that's right. Open the doors and pop it in. Now it's going to sit in there, all nice and snug and warm, very, very cosy, and it's going to sit in there and do lots of exciting things, and we're going to leave it for about 15 minutes. Well now, that's the 15 minutes up. Shall I go and have a look and see how these yeah, mixed yeah, yeah. Right. Coming. Oh, well, now that's really coming along nicely. It's beginning to froth and bubble and do all sorts of things. Mm -hmm. I'm going to uh, leave it there just one or two minutes more, just to let it, you know, really get going. Yeah. And while we're doing that, let's decide 
exactly what shape bread we're going to make in our flower pot. <laughs> I know. Well, you can make bread in a flower pot, you know. You needn't laugh. <laughs> now, you can make bread any shape you like. I mean, it doesn't matter. You could create a sort of horrific monster shape bread, anything. What sort French of shape? French bread. French bread, absolutely mm -hmm. right. Those long... Um, what about you? Do you know of any good shapes? You could do a horseshoe. Horseshoe, yes. Anything. Um, cottage loaf. Cottage loaf. I love mm. cottage loaves. You don't mm. see many cottage loaves, nah. do you? And you can make it in a round. I mean, yeah. this kind of shape, which is more traditional shape, mm. I mean, that's great for, sa uh, for sort of sandwiches or toast, things mm. like that. Mm. Yeah. If you're doing your own wild imagination shape, then you want to do it on a flat tin. Yeah. And, uh, of course, you can, I mean, you can make bread rolls. Uh, oh, there are so many mm. things, aren't there? What would you like to do? That one? You'd like to make yeah. it in a flower pot. Well, let me tell you, this is an earthenware flower pot, new one, and you never put it into a plastic one. Otherwise, yuck. I mean, you can imagine what would happen. Yeah. So don't ever make that mistake. Mm. Now, it has to be scrubbed out, and then that's greased, and that's absolutely fine. Now, what about you, David? What? I'll do the cottage loaf. You will? Yeah. That's what takes your fancy, mm. is it? All right, well, you'll be doing it in that then. So I tell you what, Diana, if you could grease those for me, and while you're greasing those, perhaps, David, you could go and get a big bowl, yes. because we're going to start doing the flour mixture now. That's it, darling. Very good. Just grease them all the way around. Perfect. Now then, we want our flour. Three pounds of flour. Jolly good. And we want our two ounces of butter. Butter. Yep. And we want our salt. We mustn't yeah. forget the salt. I sometimes forget the salt. It's all... <laughs> yeah. And we want a pint of water. Salty. That's the pint. Yep. And also we'll want our brown sugar. Brown sugar. That's it. Okay. Jolly good. No, put it right there, then we'll yeah. we won't tip okay. that in first. Because right. you know I am liable to make quite a few mistakes. So uh, <laughs> <coughs> don't encourage me. Could you tip that in there? Yeah, sure. Now as you see, I use whole wheat flour. Now the reason I use that is because I think it a, it's much more delicious. I mean, it's mm. so much more delicious than those, I don't know, some of the bread you find in shops, that sort of plasticky, non-taste. Cornwall stuff, yeah. Absolutely, it tastes of nothing, does it? Mm. Now, whole wheat bread, it has all that lovely, crunchy, delicious flavour to mm. it, and the reason for that is it's got the whole of the wheat, you know what a piece of wheat looks like, yeah. and it has the husk that goes round the wheat is left in the flour instead of being removed, as it is with white flour. Mm. And I, I don't know whether either of you know anything about vitamins, do you? Well, mm. they're, they're very good, good for you. Well, yeah. exactly. And a vitamin that's particularly good for us is vitamin B. I mean, vitamin B, oh, it's so good for us, it's unbelievable. <laughs> and that is what's found in bread and in yeast and, and in this whole wheat flour. Do you know what vit vitamin B does? No. No? Well, I'll tell you. Let me tell you what vitamin <laughs> B does. Well, it's a very good vitamin because it's good for your nerves mm. and it makes you sleep well at night and uh, it, it makes you have lots of energy. For instance, there must be times when you get nervous. Do you ever get nervous? School exams. Oh, <laughs> horrid. My daughter's exactly the same. Oh, <laughs> nerve-wracking. What about you? I got a football match just before. Oh, yes. Mm. Oh, well, when I'm watching West Ham... Oh, West Ham! Oh, how oh, dare you? That's my team. <laughs> well, when I'm watching them, I sometimes get very nervous. <laughs> and if I have lots of vitamin B, of course, I don't get quite as nervous, you know, mm. as I might do without it. Mm. Anyway, you go and get a vitamin jar for me, darling. I think you'll find one back there. And I'll show you our vitamin B. And uh, it'll remind us of what's in this bread. Mm. Rather cheeky-looking vitamin, actually. Well, he might be, because Curious. he knows that's in there. That's now stick him there. That'll remind us of what's in this bread and how good it is for us. Yeah. Right? Shall I put the jar back? Would you, darling? Thank you very much indeed. Now then, uh, I think if you could take the water, mm. yep. just put it there, and if you could put the sugar into the water, mm. that's sugar. it. Yep. Good. Stir it around just a little bit. I'll do that for... Oh, spilling it. Oh, I managed to spill it on you and not me. That's all right, isn't it? Yes. All right, that's terrific. Now then, put the salt into there. Into the water? No, no, into, into the flour. That's got it. Now take the butter. Butter. Splodge the butter in. Oh, won't it come out? That's, that's it. Jolly well got it. Now what I want you to do, David, you should be good at this, mm -hmm. I want you to take it and I want you to yeah. keep on doing that and keep on sort of sprinkling it through. Like, you've seen your mother make pastry, yeah. have you? Right. That sort of thing. You have to make it like breadcrumbs. Get dug in there. 
Aren't we glad you washed your hands? Yeah. My goodness me. You have a go as well, Diane. Go on, because that's part of the fun, everybody joining in, isn't it? <laughs> Gunji. <laughs> Gunji, my God. I think we're going to have to call this loaf of bread a Gunji loaf, if you ask me. OK, keep on doing that. Are you getting it all mixed up? Have yeah. a little go myself. All right? Now, when you've got that all really nice, like breadcrumbs, you can see it's all getting yeah, breadcrumbs, isn't it? Mm? Yeah. Now, take the water, throw that in. Well, not throw <laughs> it in, but pour it in, I think I should have said. Now, Is you. That gravy water. <laughs> give it a stir around, okay? <laughs> stir it all around. Now, I'm going to see whether our yeast is ready, all yeah. right? So, right. you keep stirring that. Oh, wow, that's terrific. Here it comes. Now look. You oh, see oh what's yeah. happened to that. Well, it doesn't... Oh, it's roughly. Yes. It's like one of those sort of Cotton horror blue, movies. Isn't it? Where you see somebody in the quicksand, isn't oh, it? Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, and it's all sort of... Well, <laughs> in you go. That's it. We'll put this under here. Now, I think when you reach this point, I think using a spoon is a bit boring. Yes, I know I'm right. Let's get rid of the spoon. And it's hands from now on, mm. don't you think? Yeah. Both of you. Yes, of course. That's part of the fun of cooking. Oh. You know lots of great chefs use their hands. Well, there's a lot of flare left at the bottom. Keep on going, That's because it. you know what? This, this is the thing that really makes the bread. This is called kneading, actually. Kneading. Kneading, K-N-E-A-D-I-N-G. And this is where you're actually getting all the bread all together so that it can start to get into Flare a dough-like mixture. Mm. All right? Mm. Okay. <laughs> you know what it's like? I bet when you were little, you loved <laughs> making mud pies, didn't you? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so I did. I still do, actually. Sand. Yes, lovely. Now keep it all going and really try and you want to get all the bits up from the bottom, bottom and yeah. oh oh let me have a go <laughs> please I, I just absolutely love it perhaps yeah. you could get a little bit of flour to sprinkle on the bowl for me could you Diane so that yeah. ooh, ah, gosh it's really it's doing yeah. well yeah, look it is. can you feel it yeah okay yeah, it's gone spongy it on has now let's take him up plonk oh. down he goes put that over there now, I'm going to cut it in half so that you can knead a bit each. That's only fair, isn't it, really? Yeah. Right. Oh, there it goes again. There <laughs> it goes again. OK. Cut it in half. Now, knead away, knead away. Oh. Put this knife away somewhere safe so that nobody can cut themselves. Now, you know, when you're kneading, I mean, lots of the co cookery books say this, and I, I mean, very often I think a lot of the cookery books tell you so many things, you know, you, it's difficult to take them all in, but they say when you knead, that's right, you have to sort of knead with the heel of your hand. But I don't really think that matters terribly much. Give it a good old thump and a bang and a wallop. And, now, how does that, has that stopped feeling like sort of chewing gum and it's beginning yeah, to feel, yes, all right. Yeah. Now then, you get the bowl ready again. Let me take that. We're going to put them both together. They say that's in a nice sort of... Mm. Mm. Gosh, it feels good, doesn't it? Mm. And we're making a lot of mess, but what does it matter? We're having fun, aren't we? Yeah. OK, bring the bowl over to me, would you please, David? That's it. Now, we're going to put it back in the bowl. Oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> Terribly <laughs> sorry about that. It's all right. Let's start another one. Now then, mm. this dough has got to go in the warming cupboard again, but first we've got to get a damp tea towel. Uh, it, there is one over there, I think, darling, if you can find it. It is slightly yeah. damp. Perhaps dampen it a little more just to make sure. Okay. We're going to put it on top here, like that. Have you done that? Yes. Well done. Now we do this. Have you any idea why one does that? To keep it more warm. Well, it kind of stops a crust from falling on top, you know, ah. going on top. It has to rise and everything. So I think, Diane, if you could put that back in our warming cupboard, it has to go in there for 40 minutes, you see. Mm -hmm. So if you can put it back in there for me, that's it. And it goes back in there. I mean, it could be a little longer than 40 minutes. You don't have to time it exactly, but we'll say 40 minutes. That's our 40 minutes up. Let's keep our fingers crossed and I'm going to have a look and see what's happened to our dough. Now then, out it comes. 
Now, who do you think dares lift that and see what's happened? Both of us. Oh, oh. fantastic. fantastic. Yeah. Isn't that great? Brilliant. See how it's risen up? Yeah. Now, I'll tell you what happens now. That poor old bread has got to go through that whole process all over again. <laughs> <laughs> it has got to be tipped out. I hope it comes out. Oh, are you going to come out? Mm -hmm. If not, we'll give you a helping hand. <laughs> out it comes. You might put a little bit of flour on mm. here, darling. That would help. Yeah. Now, here we go again. Back to the old routine. It's got to have lots and lots Lift of pushing, so pummeling, all sorts of things. All right? See, David, you're Sit. becoming an expert yep. now, aren't you? Huh. Let me cut it in half again, so... Here it goes again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jolly good. <laughs> Reminded me to be careful. There we are. Now, yours is a little bit smaller because your pot is a bit smaller. All right? <laughs> there we go. OK. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Now then, keep going. Keep on kneading away, pushing, pummeling. You don't need too much flour because you don't want it to get too flour. It's just, actually now, it really is at the most perfect consistency. Do you feel it's elasticy? Mm -hmm. And it's really, isn't it lovely spongy. to do? It's spongy, yes. Yes, spongy. I mean, it's really lovely. A lot of people find this rather soothing to make, you know? Mm. And that looks to me as though it's becoming really good. Okay, now yep. then, let's get your tin, because you're going to do your, your great cottage loaf, and you, darling, are going mm. to put yours in there. Okay, I, I just think it'll rise up tremendously in there, quite honestly. Don't have to press it down, don't just you? leave it, no. Right. It doesn't matter, you see, and you don't have to worry about that hole at the bottom, because it won't come through. It just stays like that. So yours is absolutely ready. It's Good. It's like best expert, doing it? <laughs> yes, there we are. No. Now, uh, to get that bit to stick on the top, some people say you ought to just wet it slightly, mm. so go yeah. and just run your finger under the right. tap. Let's make this into a little round thing for him, shall we? Mm -hmm. While he's gone. There we are, we've given you a little help there. Mm -hmm. Just smooth that out. I sometimes don't bother to do that, but I think you really should. Pop it on top. All right? Doesn't it stick otherwise? Well, sometimes it doesn't. Now, it seems to me cottage loaves always have a sonking heart, right. do they? Terrific. That, <laughs> that looks good already, doesn't it? Yes. Now then, all we have to do now, we have to put them in the oven. Now, our oven has been set at 400. Uh, uh, that's, that's number six gas. Well done. You're absolutely Never. right. Now, that, <laughs> isn't he? Yes. Now, that's, mm. that's very, very hot. So I want you both to put on gloves when you go near the oven because it's very important. Now, where are our gloves? Here they are. All right. Yep. There's a pair of gloves for you, darling. Now, David, you can put your loaf in first. Mm. And remember, it's very, very hot, so be very yep. careful. All right? Again. There it goes Never again. Files. No, but you must remember that those people at home, they won't have that to help them, so it's just as well, isn't it? Yeah. In it goes. That's out. Close the door carefully. All right. Well, now, there it is. It's in there and it's <laughs> going to stay in there for about 40 minutes. And all we have to do is just hope, as I'm sure you will at home, we're going to hope that our bread is going to turn out. So that's 40 mm. minutes from now. Well, that's our 40 <laughs> minutes up. I must say mm. we've been chatting about lots of really fascinating things, all the kind of food we want to make, mm -hmm. haven't we? Yeah. It's really been <laughs> fascinating. But the great exciting moment has arrived when we hope that our bread, in fact, I know our bread will turn out. I have confidence <laughs> in you both, you see. Mm -hmm. Now, put those on yep. because it's going to be very hot. And I think, David, perhaps you'd better get your bread out yeah. first, had you? All right. There you go. Very, very hot. So be very careful. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, that it's looks really tremendous. Lovely. What a clever boy you are. That's mm. great. Now you get yours out and let's see what yours is like. Very good indeed. I'll close the oven door. Turn oh. off the oven. Well, do you know, I think that's terrific. I really do. Look at them both. Perfect. Mm. And it wasn't that difficult, was it? No. <laughs> let's tip them out. Now I'll show you a good way to tell whether they're done. Tip it out if it'll... Oh, it's come out beautifully. Mm, now, yeah. I tell you what you do, you tap the bottom, and if it sounds hollow... Oh, mine's a bit of a to drop, <laughs> <laughs> Cool, it's very that's hot. That's done. 
Let's get it down. Do you think it'll balance on its own? I shouldn't really touch it. Oh, it does. It does. Nobody breathe. Mm -hmm. Sounds hollow, yeah. doesn't it? Good. Now, you know, I think those are really perfect loaves. I don't think anybody, there's no grown-up, could possibly do those loaves <laughs> better. Now, I'm going to tell you something rather exciting. There's been somebody going around our factory today, having a look around, seeing all the things we do, and it's somebody that I know you're going to love to meet. I'm terribly excited because I'm a great fan of his, and I'm just hoping that he's in our factory canteen. And if he is, let's take our bread in, shall we? Yeah. And uh, perhaps he'd like to try it for us. Shall we go over and see? Yeah. All right, come on. Hello, Hello, Nicky. How are you? I'm very well, and how lovely to see you, and how sweet of you to come Well, here. it's fun. Hello, Diane. Hello. David, how Hi, are you? David. Can you get by? We're all so thrilled, yeah. because I'm sure, as you know, you're, everybody here is a great fan of yours. You seem to lead the most exciting life, Dickie. Well, I must say, I'm very lucky, Lynette, because I do get a chance to meet all the big names in sports, and... Uh, I know my own two boys uh, love to ask me just what they're like, and I'm able to tell them, and they're all fun yes, yes. to be with them to talk to. Do you look what these two have made? I know. What do you think of that? Now, that's a college loaf, isn't it? That yes. is. Well done, David. And what and do you that's... think that is? Well, it looks as if it's come out of a, a flower pot. It is! Yes, come on. <laughs> well done, you get top marks. Now, David, are you going to slice yes. yours? Because yeah. we thought you could be our chief tester. Like the top. Do no, I, can I have a slice no. from the okay. from the main shark? Is that a good idea? Yes. As it's a matter of fact, my mother used to make homemade bread, Nanette, and living in the country as I do, all the village shops bake their own bread. I can't resist it. Oh, I know. I adore it. And you know, it does taste different, doesn't it? it doesn't it? A, oh, it's out of Absolutely. this world. Absolutely. Oh. And there it is. And I have the crust too. Yeah. Thank you very much indeed, You're going David. to be the first one. There's the butter, and you I just have... think when I start eating this, that danger bell is going to start ringing. <laughs> <laughs> not because oh, it won't taste I'm, good, but simply because I perhaps not. shouldn't eat it. It's still a little bit warm, but that doesn't matter. Oh, but matter, that's better, it? isn't it? What do you like on it? We have homemade jam and we um, have homemade Is that strawberry jam? Yes. Oh, yeah. I'd love some of that. Made here nice in the fry. factory from fresh whole strawberries. The trouble is you put too much butter and too much <laughs> jam. Oh. Stand by. Now, we're all just going to watch you and silence while we see what it's like. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, isn't it good? Is it good? I oh, talk to my mother, isn't it isn't exciting? It marvelous? Yes. Perhaps, mm. sure, you'll have some. Yes. Shall we? After all, yes. I mean, say, you cook. It's a little party. Can I pass that to you then, David? Here we are. There's something here for you to make funny fruits and carrot cake. It keeps you strong, it helps you grow. It's the most scrumptious thing I know. The pots and pans have feet and hands and smile like you and me. 